The sounds of the drums echo. Songs and chants about hope for a brighter tomorrow from these internally displaced people living on the outskirts of South Sudan's capital, Juba. For years, hundreds of people have been living in Rajav after fleeing their villages because of violence, fearing for their lives. Despite this, they remain hopeful that peace will return and they'll be able to go back to their villages to cultivate their crops and raise their children. The head of the United Nations mission in South Sudan visited Rajav to listen to the residents' concerns and to try to find ways to help. What I've heard is people here um, say, suffering the same sort of insecurity uh, that everybody else in South Sudan is feeling. Uh, they've had their cattle stolen, they've, uh, the women have been raped by people with guns, um, they, the women can't go out, out into the fields anymore. Uh, they, there's a lot of people who are displaced who are settling in and around the church because they feel safe here. I mean it's terrible uh, stories we've been hearing um, and for us in the UN and, the, and, and UNMIS we've got to look at ways in which we can help provide security for those people. The UN mission and local authorities are working together to try to find ways to improve the lives of vulnerable people from this conflict affected country by helping to increase security and built durable peace. The ongoing deployment of a 4,000 strong regional protection force will increase the UN presence. It will provide a secure environment in Juba and surrounding areas and enable the mission to carry out patrols along insecure roads where there have been a number of attacks. It is hoped that maintaining secure roads will help boost the economy as traders would have the confidence to safely transport their goods. Well, we hope the RPF will be able to provide security to Juba as it's supposed to do under the Security Council mandate. But also it will free up other forces and other troops to be down in this area in the, in the central part of Equatoria. If we can do that, then we can help bring peace to the, the people here in Rajaf and, and beyond. And it will also help the, uh, secure the roads so that we have trading going up and down the roads and the, so the m movement of traders will be secure too. Trade builds the economy and the economy builds jobs and that will help, I think, this a lot. UNMIS engineers are also helping build and rehabilitate main supply roads damaged by war and weather. Connecting Juba to other parts of the country, these routes are an economic lifeline for South Sudan. The UN also offers a lifeline to 215,000 displaced people living in six UN protection of civilian sites across the country. It will continue to work with local authorities and the community to build durable peace so that they can return to live safely and with dignity.